Hey there, coin metallurgist here. Um, uh, what I'd like to show you today is uh, some pennies that I have finished uh, searching through here. Um, they were in a in a jar like this. Um, my mother-in-law had uh, pulled them um, when she was younger, probably a teenager, had put them in a uh, piggy bank and then eventually moved them to a jar like this. Um, so. Uh, awesome thing here is is that almost every single penny was copper um, so I looked through them um, had eight dollars and three cents in copper pennies so that's excellent um, and just as a comparison eight dollars and three cents in copper there were only 39 zinc pennies so I think um, from the dates that I saw, it looked like most of these coins were probably uh, collected in a piggy bank in the late 70s. And then somehow some later ones got mixed in and a dime. Um, the good stuff that I found here was I found 10 uh, Canadian pennies. Um, one from their centennial year, 1967. And then other ones from the 60s and 70s. Um, Nothing extremely rare or special here, but um, I hang on to those too. They're all copper, so um, I don't mind those. And then we found, uh, did I say 10 Canadian pennies, 9 uh, wheat back pennies. So we have a 1944D, 1945D, 1947D, 1950D, 1952D. 1950, 60, 1950, 70, and two 1958 Ds. So a lot of the Denver Mint, just one that's not Denver Mint, nothing rare, all from the 40s and 50s, but um, definitely uh, happy about that. Um, you definitely wouldn't find this many copper pennies in circulation nowadays. Um, from, from what I've seen, you know, it's usually about one in five pennies that are still in circulation today are copper. This is, you know, 20 to 1 copper to zinc penny. So this was absolutely awesome. You know, she said, she told me that I could just have these. Um, I'll probably give her the $8 for these ones just because I'm taking almost all of them. Um, but very happy with that. Very cool. Um, it's exciting to know that this uh, kind of thing exists out there um, within my uh, realm of reach. Um, you know, next summer I'll probably try to uh, go out to uh, garage sales and and estate sales and try to pick up things like this and and hopefully also uh, silver coins that I can buy from people that they've uh, kept from long ago. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, good luck hunting. Um, good luck coin collecting, and have a great day.